After nearly two years, it's time to go home, back to England. So that's not necessarily completely true. If you're watching this video, hi, my name is Dane and I am going back to England where I'm from and I will explain what I'm doing. The problem with living in Australia is that all my friends and family, they live in England. And when all your friends and family live 12,000 miles away, it makes it just that little bit harder to see them. And the flight itself is 28 hours. So we have 28 hours with Malaysia Airlines. I'm gonna vlog a little bit about how that goes, but this video is just gonna be my journey back to England. So they don't actually know that I'm coming home. So part of this video is you will see a glimpse of hopefully them being surprised that I've flown 12,000 miles to see them. If you are new to the vlogs, my name is Dane. I actually left England in July, 2021, randomly thought, let's go travel the world. So we started in Croatia, went pretty much all around the world and now I live in Australia. I've lived here for nearly a year and I'm really comfortable living here. I've been doing lots of trips around Australia, went to Asia a few months ago and now I feel like it's time to go and see my family and friends and surprise them and I am so excited to do that. But again, 28 hours, 28.5 hours. Not a fan of that. I just realized I'm in the quiet terminal. I'm gonna move. In case you're wondering as well, are you moving back to the UK? I'm not moving back to the UK, but I am going there for five weeks, which sounds like a really long time, but I'm actually not going to the UK for five weeks. I'm just going over to Europe. So we have to do this really big, really long flight of 28.5 hours and I'm not looking forward to it. You guys know me, I love flying, I love the airport. For some reason, I'm like, I was sat at home today and I was like, I do not wanna do this journey. So although I don't wanna do this really horrible long journey, I do wanna see my family and friends, so I am excited about that and I think it will make it worth it. Like right now, I'm here at the airport in maybe 30 to 35 hours time. I should be surprising my dad at the doorstep. Legit, the only person that knows I'm coming home is Alice and Lucy. If anyone has spoiled that surprise, I'm not gonna be happy with you. I'm not gonna be happy with you. You know, if you do a silly dance to the airport, vlogging is not that scary. I've been so preoccupied thinking about what am I gonna film in this video that I forgot that I need to eat. I have two hours until the flight boards. I'm also gonna show you guys what it's like to fly Malaysian Airlines because I've never flown with them, but I actually got a really good deal. I got this flight for 750 pound. That is return, so that is to London and then back. This is probably one of the longest flights that I've done. Usually I'm always traveling continuously. So for instance, when I first came to Australia, I was in America, so it wasn't too bad, even though that flight was a I'm gonna be spending the rest of the week in England and then I have two places that I'm going that I've never been before. I'm going to Portugal with my friends. They don't know I'm coming. So make sure you hit subscribe to see the next few videos to see if like they're surprised that I'm coming, that I just came from Australia. Cause in my mind, I'm like, actually it's kind of crazy. And then we are going to Africa. So comment below, where do you think I'm going in Africa? I'm dead excited for this trip and I'm more excited because I'm doing it with another YouTuber, which will be really fun. Just changing up the angles over here. Do you like my jazzy microphone as well? If you're flying with Malaysia Airlines, they actually weighed both my bags. So my checked bag was absolutely fine, but my bag that I have, like my camera and laptop in it, that was nine kilos. Don't know how that happened, but they said like they have a weight limit of seven. So I had to take my laptop out and hold it. And I was like, weird. So I have just done some work for a couple of hours because you know, living that digital nomad life. I thought I would just check in with the time. I'm like really intrigued. So I literally started this stopwatch when I left my house. It's on five hours and I'm still in Australia. Like, there's nuts. Because I'm doing a night flight, I've actually just brushed my teeth and floss because I don't need to eat anymore. I know they're gonna serve food on the plane, but yeah, I'm ready for bed. But no, I have a 10 hour flight to Malaysia. Let's do this.
Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? The journey continues. Kind of. I had a five hour layover in Kuala Lumpur, so I was excited. I was like, you know, there's a perfect amount of time to catch up on to work. Then I got here. The plane has been delayed an extra two hours. Five hour delay over is not great, but it's not terrible. Seven hours is a long time. Considering my next flight is 15 hours. The vibes aren't great right now, guys. With seven hours to kill, I really did get bored. Like, really bored. It was 3 a.m., nothing was open. In between working, I ate some pretzels, but mostly I just stood around like a lemon. I have no idea what to do with myself. I think I'm becoming delirious. I just checked my stopwatch. Bear in mind guys, I have three more hours left of my layover. We're on 18 hours. 18 hours. I think we're halfway now. Well, I hope we're halfway. I've never flown with Malaysia Airlines before. The flight was, it actually wasn't that bad. I slept through most of the journey. The flight was kind of empty, which was good for me because I actually considered purchasing extra legroom for like $100. And I'm so glad I didn't do that because the flight was honestly half full. So I would have wasted my money. So within like 20 minutes of being up in the air, I just went to the back of the plane and found two seats next to each other. And I actually slept really well. Like I honestly slept eight hours and I don't feel that bad right now. The toilets were really nice on board. The food was good. It did feel like an older plane, but I can't really complain. Also, the TVs were a bit glitchy as well. So just to check in. As you guys know, I started this stopwatch when I left my house. So I'm just sat here with a boost, just just vibing out here. It's, it's kind of hitting me now that I'm gonna be back in England pretty soon. It's kind of wild. The Kuala Lumpur airport that I'm in right now is actually really interesting. It's kind of in a big circle. So there's plenty of space to walk around, which has been nice because I've sort of sat for a few hours, got up, had a walk, had a few drinks, had a bit of food to eat. And now I'm just going to walk around a little bit more because I'm aware that I'm going to be sat down on a plane seat for 15 hours. I have eaten a million and one pretzels. I have peed 15 million times. I've been in this airport for seven hours now. I'm ready to leave. So let's go board this plane back to London, people. Six or 37 hours later, I finally made it back to England. It feels so weird. I haven't been here in two years. I feel like the last time I was here, I was a totally different person. Now I just got to get a few trains and buses back to my hometown. So I am just at my final destination. It's time to check into my hotel and then mission, go and surprise my family. I'm gonna surprise my dad today and then some more people tomorrow, so keep watching. Oh my God. That was a very long journey. Right, I'm gonna stop this stopwatch. I don't even know how to feel right now. This journey took me 38 hours, 20 minutes and nine seconds. Okay, now let's go surprise my dad. Hi, dad. Oh, yeah. oh my god, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I just thought I'd come back early. I didn't tell anyone. <laughs> yeah. She's there. She's there. Okay, I'm gonna surprise me. Too. <laughs> I just came back. I've just spotted my granny. Hi, granny. What are you doing here? <laughs> Coming to surprise you. How are you? Surprise me. Are you okay? <laughs> I know that voice. <laughs> 
The 40 hour journey was definitely worth it to surprise all my family. You're just gonna have to wait till next week to see who I surprised next. Oh my God!